Japanese Karate Do was founded by this man, Master Gichen Funakoshi. He was born in Okinawa in 1868 and died in 1957. According to the teachings of Master Funakoshi and Master Nakayama, his successor, Karate is a method of self-defense without the use of weapons, making use of every muscle of the body.
right block, double block, back fist. Stepping out, circular arm motion, back fist. Now the same sequence repeated to the other side. Okay, this circular motion is a joint locking technique being performed. A okay, middle block, hook punch, middle blocks, back fist concludes the form. Now Kanazawa Sensei performs Empi Kata. Empi means flying swallow. It uses quick light movements in the performance of his technique, hence the name Flying Swallow. The kata features jumping in movements, pulling the opponent into an attack. All right, here we have pulling the opponent into the attack and then stepping back again. This kata was originally called Wanshu or Wansu in Okinawa, where it was developed. Now, instructor Kanazawa was the first place kata champion in both the performance of kata and kumite or sparring in the 1958 all japan karate championships now here we have empi kata performed once again this time a bit slower a punching grabbing the opponent kick jump in Pull the opponent into the attack and then step away. And step into block. Reverse the feet, block again, reverse punch. Step into block. Now grabbing the opponent, jumping in, pulling the opponent into the attack, and then step away. Te Shou, palm heel blocking. Now a series of dynamic tension movements follow using a palm heel blocking method. Okay, this is grabbing the opponent, jumping to the rear, Blocking. And finally finishing the form. Instructor Inoueda now demonstrates Jute. This kata emphasizes blocking and a defense against a staff. Jute means ten hands. It's an inspirational name, meaning, or having the uh, suggestion that one has the strength of ten people, or could defend against ten people. Now notice Inoueda Sensei is rather large for a Japanese and powerfully built. Now this kata suits him well. Okay, this kata has lots of basic blocking movements and changes in direction. Now review. Okay, notice the left hand wrapped around the clenched fist at the beginning of the kata. It's a unique movement. Okay, a hooked wrist block opens the form. Okay, a series of palm heel blocks. 
Okay, X block, moving to the rear, blocking with both hands. Okay, now crescent kick and block. All right, now the removal of the staff technique. This is grabbing the opponent's stick or wooden staff and taking it away. Okay. Blocking movements. Okay, turn, block, and the form is completed. M. Mori demonstrates chinte kata. This is, this is a kata that means unusual hand or quelling hand, a very esoteric form. And it features nihon nukite, or a two-finger spear hand thrust. It also has a distinctive hopping back to the original starting position at the end of the form. There's the hopping movement at the end. Now the kata repeated again begins with a hammer fist strike to the right and then to the left. Stepping out, blocking movement, blocking and punching, block and punch again. Elbow strike, knife hand block, front kick, two blocks, scooping motion. Now some circular blocking movements done with a knife hand, then to a crane stance or one-legged stance. Now the use of Nihon Nukite, Two finger spear hand thrust. Double hammer fist for spacing, block and punch. And then hopping back to the original starting position. Now, instructor T. Kase demonstrates Jion. Here's some of the application of that kata. Jion means temple sound. And this kata has strong blocking movements and counterattacks, as you can see. Palm heel, teisho uke. Palm heel blocks and strikes. Supported block. Okay, blocking a front kick with ju ji uke, or X block. Use of the back fist. Okay, striking down to block an opponent's attack. Okay, block, grab, and then hammer fist to the body. Now a review of the kata. You can see fundamental arm and leg movements being used right, while changing direction. That's a feature of this kata. Okay, double blocking, shifting in, hook punch. Now a series of palm heel blocks. Very similar to jute. In fact, these kata are considered a set. Remember, this is Jion now. Okay, very fundamental movements. But applied in such a way as to be very effective. Okay, grab the opponent and then hammer fist. 
Right, this completes the form. Now instructor Enoeda demonstrates Basai number one or Basai Dai. This is a kata that has very bold, strong movements. It's beautifully demonstrated here by instructor Enoeda. This is a kata that uh, is performed and looks well when performed by a, a large, strong man as opposed to light, quick movements. Now, in addition to strong techniques, however, the kata also features the performance of slow techniques. So they're done in combination. Large, powerful movements. A great show of strength. In fact, basai means having enough strength to penetrate a fort, a fortress. Right, what this what this really means is an inspirational name. In other words, developing a lot of strength through the practice of this kata. And then the form is concluded. Now the analysis. I'm stepping forward and jamming or blocking an opponent's attack. Okay, blocking to the outside of two punches. Okay, grabbing the opponent's foot, sweeping him down. Okay, block and reverse punch. Block again, face punch. A series of knife hand blocks. And now block the opponent. Okay, wrap or tie up his arm. Counterattack with a side kick. Now blocking the next opponent, attacking from the rear. And then a series of blocks. Now block, uh, double fist punch. Grabbing the opponent, sweeping him to the ground. Okay, block again. Now crescent kick and elbow strike the opponent. Okay, blocking a series of front kicks. Marote Ziki, double punch to the opponent. Now that other movement there is a leg block. Leg blocking the opponent's kick and then stepping in with Marote Zuki, double punch. Now scooping the opponent's front kick and then sweeping him to the ground. The kata performed once again. Okay, it begins with stepping out, jamming the opponent's middle thrust. A series of blocking movements in both directions. Stepping to the side, scooping two blocks. Okay, block and punch. Now a series of knife hand blocks slow application of the tying up technique and then counter attack with a side kick. Knife hand blocks. Blocking a double fist punch. Counter attack. Crescent kick down block. Crescent kick elbow strike. A series of blocks. Now, double fist punch. Okay, step to the side and block. Block again. 
Now knife hands block. Step out, knife hand block in the other direction. This concludes Basai Dai. T Iwaizumi will now demonstrate Basai number two or Basai Sho. Basai Sho is a variant of uh, the main Basai Kata or Basai Dai. You can see it, it features different blocking methods. Okay, although it follows the same pattern of movement, there's just a slightly different application of techniques. There's the use of the double fist punch. And then finally the kata concludes with a searching motion at the end. Right, note the unusual gait or hand position at the very beginning. Stepping out, a wasayuke, supported hand block. It's a different type of blocking motion now. Stepping up to block. Beautifully executed side kick. Block to the front, double punch. High low blocks to both sides. Series of knife hand blocks. Facing to the rear, turning again. Now double punch three times. Leg block and double punch three times. Now searching hand block at the very end. Okay, note the cat stance also used. And the form is concluded. Basai Show. Instructor M. Weki demonstrates gankaku. Gankaku means a crane standing on a rock. And this kata was originally called chinto. A series of high-low blocks. Okay, the kata has balance maneuvers on one leg, which you can see here. Hence the name gankaku, a crane standing on a rock, or a crane standing on one leg. Turning movement. Step forward to punch. That concludes the form. Now the bunkai or application, X block to block, punch, block the kick. Now blocking, now the use of the double, double kick or flying kick and then immediately blocking the opponent's front kick again. High low blocking. Okay, now elbow block. Elbow block again. Now here's the use of the side kick and back fist from the crane stance. Step forward and punch. Now side kick, back fist to hook punch. Same sequence repeated in the opposite direction. Now block, elbow strike. Now turning this time to arm break. That's what this turning movement means in the kata. Finally, a middle punch, and that finishes up the form.
Here's the kata performed one more time. Gankaku. X block. Flying front kick to X block. X block again. Low level blocking. Middle level blocking with two hands. Now high low blocking. Now a series of two elbow blocks. Turning, double block. Now the crane movement. Side kick back fist, step into middle punch. Now side kick back fist to hook punch. Okay, elbow strike, turning, side kick, step forward to middle punch. Yame, that finishes the kata. Next, T Mikami demonstrates Hangetsu kata. Okay, Hangetsu means half moon. It gets this name from the semicircular movements of the uh, footwork and also the hand techniques, which you see right here. Okay, Hangetsu has these very f slow techniques in the beginning of the form. This kata was also originally called Seisan, and then later became known as Hangetsu. You can see some rear hand blocking going on here. Now a review of the kata, performed once again. Stepping out slowly inside middle block, reverse punch. Right, stepping forward, semicircular movement, middle punch. Stepping out again, inside middle block, reverse punch. Okay, Ipon Kin is demonstrated, one knuckle fists to overhead blocking and then slowly down. Now turning to the rear and block, double block. Okay, notice how the rear hand rotates around. Now inside middle block, double punch, repeated in three directions. Step to the rear. Cross step and front kick, down block, reverse punch, upper block. Same sequence to the rear. And then finally the form is concluded with a crescent kick and then a palm heel blocks supported to protect the groin. Now, kanku number one, or kanku dai kata. This is known as viewing the sky kata because of the unusual movement at the very beginning, looking through the hands. But this kata teaches strength, body flexibility. There are also uh, evasion techniques and jumping in the kata. Also going to ground is another feature of this kata. This form was originally known as Kusanku or Kushanku, another pronunciation.
You can see the various blocking movements being demonstrated. The kata has a variety of techniques. You may even notice techniques from other kata in this, in this form. It just has a variety of techniques. And then finally concluding. Now the kata performed once again. Here is the viewing the sky movement to start off with. Knife hand block to the side. Block, punch, block again. Punch and block again. Now side kick back fist to the rear. Then a series of knife hand blocks. Nukite spear hand thrust. Okay, turn to the rear block. Knife hand strike and front kick. Same sequence repeated. Now side kick and elbow strike. Okay, a series of knife hand blocks. Now turning and going to ground. Turning again. Block. Now block and reverse punch. Now side kick back fist. Spear hand thrust. Spinning and turning to back fist, hammer fist. Now block. X block. Turning. Finally executing a double kick. And then completing the form. Excellent kata. Now instructor Mikami demonstrates kanku number two or kanku sho. This is a beautiful form. And you'll see he performs it superbly. Excellent techniques. Fast to slow motion. Now speed. Absolutely perfect form. Now, instructor Mikami was an all Japan karate champion, also. You can see this by the way he performs this kata. Now, here's a jump going to ground, stepping back up, and jumping again. Finally, the form is completed. Now, here it is again. Side view. Supported block. Step into punch. Blocking. Kick. Block. Double punch. Now, changing direction. Same sequence. Front kick. Block. Double punch. Beautiful dynamics. Shifting to the side, double punch. Jumping. Side kick, elbow strike. Side kick, elbow strike. Front kick. Now here's the jump. And then up again. Turning to block, step into punch. Yame. The form is finished. Instructor Shirai now demonstrates Sochin Kata. This kata features the Sochin stance, which you see here. It also has some very interesting hand techniques. Side kick, elbow strike. Turning to the rear, a unique movement. And then a series of knife hand blocks. Now crescent kick. Now to Sochin stance, high low blocking.
And finally, the forum concludes. Sochin Kata performed once again. Here's the Sochin stance with a high-low blocking. Now reverse knife hand block. With the same sequence repeated in another direction. So chin stance, high low block, reverse knife hand block, double punch, side kick and elbow strike, side kick and elbow strike. Now turning to the rear with knife hand blocks. Now here's a unique series of movements. Double punch concludes the form. Sochin Kata. Next, T Asai performs Niju Shiho Kata. And Niju Shiho means 24 steps. Features an elbow strike in the Kata. And circular blocking movements. This kata was originally referred to as niseishi. It means the same thing. It means 24 steps. Now circular blocking. Now once again, niju shiho kata. Okay, elbow strike, side kick, hook punch, searching hand, side kick, hook punch. Okay, now blocking to the front and the rear simultaneously. Now elbow strike. Elbow strike again, step back and down block. Now circular blocking pattern to the front. And this finally concludes the form. Now Master Nakayama performs Unsu Kata. Unsu means cloud hand. This is the highest Shotokan Karate Kata and the most difficult to perform. It requires much strength and accuracy of movement. Okay, all this is required while changing direction at the same time. This is the sequence repeated here. Going to ground and kicking from the ground, a unique feature of the kata. Okay, this kata also has a wide variety of techniques. You can see many of the movements of other kata contained in this one. It also has a unique 360 degree spin in it. Now a jumping motion, that's the 360 degree spin. Circular blocking patterns, repeated. Now the bunkai, or application of those movements, you can see Master Nakayama demonstrating keito, or the wrist blocking, and then countering with a spear hand. Now the blocking patterns with rapid changes in direction. Blocking the opponent's attack, reverse punch. Now going to ground and counterattacking with a roundhouse kick. Double block, double block again. Now turning, blocking the opponent's attack. Very advanced kata, very advanced form. 
a block arm break, front kick, double punch. Block, block, block again. A series of blocks, reverse punch. Now kick, spin 360, counterattack by back kicking the opponent. And finally, circular blocking pattern. Block, reverse punch, counterattack the opponent. That's the bunkai or application of this kata. Very intense, very high level applications. Now you can see the crane-like movements at the beginning of the form. Rapid changes in direction and going to ground. Double blocking. Haito. That's the ridge hand strike is part of this kata. You can see it right there. Now, faking or feigning the opponent and then stepping in to punch. Grabbing front meikikomi, front thrust kick the opponent. Now a series of blocking movements in various directions and counterattacking, 360 degree spin. Circular, circular blocking methods. And finally, block and reverse punch. This concludes Unsu Kata. This ends tape two of the dynamic techniques of Shotokan Karate. This is George Alexander speaking. I hope you enjoyed it.